very relaxing to sit out here. There's no telling what you'll see at Benson Rio Grande Valley State Park. Lots of birding centers, lots of places to stop and relax. But within days, visitors might see something else. Heavy machinery has moved into federally owned land next to the park, clearing vegetation for six new miles of border wall along the levee road. Would probably devastate it. The construction relies on funds from last year's omnibus spending bill. Congress approved $600 million for 33 miles of new border wall in the Rio Grande Valley. Another plan for eight more miles of border fencing will also start this month. All of this was based on the requirement of what the field operators were telling us there that they needed. Every 14 day, we have as many people that showed up in San Diego as far as the caravan. The project moves forward as Washington grapples with funding over border security. The president is pushing for more money for physical barriers. This is a moral issue. The lawless state of our southern border is a threat to the safety, security, and financial well-being of all America. However, these are the views that Mayor Jim Darling from the neighboring city of McAllen has been trying to debunk. We're still fighting an image of being a lawless uh, area. Right now, there are no new border wall plans slated for McAllen. Darling says he believes in border security, but says the wall isn't the answer to what he sees as the real problem, which is the number of asylum seekers. In the border wall, a border fence makes sense in certain places, but it's not the answer to border protection. Customs and Border Protection has said the Rio Grande Valley sector is the busiest in the country, making up about 40 percent of illegal border crossing arrests in the southwest border. President Trump is now preparing for a Make America Great Again rally in El Paso on Monday, where he is expected to highlight the issue of border security. In Mission, Texas, Madeline Rivera, Fox News.